Hey what's going on guys it's your dog Kion you're back again with another video Hope you guys are having a good day if you're not hope this video cheers you guys up So today I'm just gonna be doing something you guys have been asking for a while now on this channel And for a couple months now you guys have been asking me to showcase my OBS render settings I'll show a couple of comments from the last couple of months of the people wanting this Um, They have been pr pretty patient with me and I'm sorry that it took me a while to come out with this video It's just that um I wasn't really sure if my settings were good enough for you guys so it took me a while like my settings were not good like stable that they weren't they weren't consistent at all for me but i think i found you found the right settings for me and i feel like it can help you guys a lot so yeah shout out to the guys who commented on this video suggestion um it's a pretty cool um original idea but you know i just want to show you my settings because i feel like you can really use them because i don't have a lot like a really good gaming pc i use like an 800 dollars gaming laptop which isn't the best but um it's it, it can be like hard to work with sometimes but for my settings i feel like i have the right settings and i feel like if you guys get less fps than normal and you guys want to record and stuff i feel like these settings can be the perfect one for you guys so i don't want to waste your time guys so let's just get right into it so what you guys need to get is obs studio and I, for me personally i use 64 bit and um first of all i guess i'll go over the scenes and sources real quick so when you go to scenes it's like a thing uh, you add it right here and then name it and then the sources is basically what you want to record so i'm not right now i'm not recording my game so my game capture is shut off i'm i am recording my desktop though that's why display capture is on this isn't really about how to use obs but more about my settings so i'm not gonna waste your time guys so let's just get right into it so by clicking settings in the bottom right or top left i'm pretty sure uh, first off we're gonna go, go over general and um, pretty much nothing is really important here besides language and theme in a way but for language i'm obviously using english and theme it's personally um it's pretty much like personal preference but i feel like dark uh is like easy on the eyes so yeah that's it for the next category is stream um i'm not gonna go over my streaming settings this video but um this tab is pretty much for your streaming so um if you let's say you stream on youtube like i do sometimes you can go ahead put your stream key here i'm obviously not gonna show you guys because my stream key because that's bad so for obvious reasons i'm not gonna show it but yeah let's get right into output so output um as i said i'm not doing the streaming settings because my stream settings are terrible that's why i actually can't record a lot because my pc can't handle it and i feel like my settings aren't the best but like f we're gonna go over recording this today's video so if you switch over um if you switch over to recording tab um, you'll notice that my output, uh, my output mode is advanced and the reason why I'm not using simple but rather I'm using advanced is because I use multiple audio tracks so as you can see here I have a lot of audio tracks there's, there's like four here and um, sometimes I need them sometimes I don't but I just keep it advanced for um, convenience so for recording path you guys can um, put you see it right here so you, what you want to do is click browse find the space in your hard drive like for example you could put it in your desktop so that's this is where your files are going to be saved to so pick a spot it doesn't it's not that important but just know where your spot is for recording format i use mp4 and then and that's not the only setting you can use there's like mov and um i'm pretty sure uh f what's it called <laughs> flv yeah so flv is used where like if you want to make sure your recording does not get lost so let's say your recording gets corrupted and you can recover it use if you used flv to record it so it's not like too much for me i just use mp4 because that's what i like so for encoder um there should be like a quick skink h.264 and another one like x26 uh, x264 i'm pretty sure and if you have an nvidia graphics card there should be a nvink nvink completion um i'm just doing this on top of my head i'm pretty sure that's it like i'm 99 sure so so if you guys do have a nvidia graphics card you want to use nvink because nvink I, I think i'm saying that right <laughs> You want, you want to use the NVIDIA's graphics card encoder because it like reduces the strain on your CPU which is big because CPUs aren't the best at encoding so if you do have a NVIDIA's graphics card and you have the option to um, do NVENC, NVENC, do that and for example I do have a NVIDIA's graphics card but it's not the latest so I don't have it um, I'm using a notebook or a laptop I guess so that's why I don't have it but instead I do have this QuickSync H.264 which is an Intel Core encoder, which works for me. So for next, um, Rescale Apple, I don't really mess with that. Don't mess with custom mixer setting, mixer settings. It's not really important. And here it gets back again. So for target usage, I have it balanced, but that's because it works for me. If you have a lower quality PC, just go for um, speed and then just keep trying all these. It's about test and trial, so just um, try all these. 
if if this is like giving you guys lag spikes in your games just go keep going down until you find the right setting for profile i have a high and keyframe interval i have a two async depth four rate control i have vbr but you can use cbr but for now i'm just gonna show you vbr so for your bit rate put 30,000 kilobytes i'm pretty sure and then for max bit rate put 45,000 obviously if these settings are lagging for you you can keep lowering this down like try every 5,000 lower down each so let's say it's not this is too laggy for you just go for 25,000 and 40,000 keep trying that and um, to see how it works it's all about testing child i don't really use cbr and i don't know that much about it so i'm not going to recommend you guys any settings because why would i recommend you guys something i don't know about so for now just stick with vbr um one downside to vbr is that there are high um file sizes here and but the trade-off is that you do get really good quality so if you don't mind the extra quality or uh, extra uh, file size and VBR is fine for you, but it does come with high quality. So yeah, stay tuned Alright guys switching from all output to audio. We are at sample rate So for me, I use 44.1 kilohertz and it depends on your mic Just find out what how much sample rate is your mic. I'm not gonna go into deep in it This is just a setting it's not like a whole tutorial um, For channels I use stereo. I don't think it matters, but just put it stereo So here is specified for me. So for desktop audio put it to what? You hear your game from your sounds from so let's say you hear it through your speakers select your speakers here and for mic just put your mic you know it's pretty self-explanatory for desktop audio too I shouldn't you shouldn't have to worry about this unless um you're really advanced in the OBS but um this is pretty much um for my Discord sounds but I don't think you guys will need it just keep this disabled but um in the chance you guys do need it just find a tutorial this isn't really important, it's just a personal preference. Everything else here is um, pretty normal, so just leave it as is. Switching from audio to video, um, I am recording my, okay, so <laughs> I guess I could just start with base canvas resolution. So um, this is how much, um, like, what's the resolution of your video. So if you want to record in t t um, 720p, it will be 1280 times 720 on uh, 1280 times 720. But the base canvas re resolution is pretty much what you see your games as. So if you play in 1080p, keep this at 1080p. And then if you play on output, if you want to also record in 1080p, keep this at 1080. And I'm I'm sorry if I'm um, saying this wrong, but like it's that's pretty much how it is. Kind of confusing, but so for me, uh, for me personally, when I do play games, I don't record at 1080. The only reason why I'm recording 1080 for this video is because I'm not playing any games, so I can record as high quality as I want. But normally I would record on 720p, 20, uh, 1280 times 720, 1280 times 720 on both tabs, and um, I would have down scope filter as bit that uh, billion here because it's the fastest. But um, if you guys want more high quality, just go for long slows. So here's the FPS for your video. So um, I use 60 FPS because that's normal. But um, you can, if that doesn't work for you guys, getting lag specs, use 30 FPS. But um, if you want to record at 120 FPS and you know like that extra um you know milestone <laughs> fame rate you could just go here go down here go to fractional uh, fps and just put it to 120 over 1 or 240 over 1 but it should most of you guys will probably just have it at 60 so leave it at 60. for hockeys i don't have anything for hockeys and uh let's just get to advanced process priority i think leave this at normal and render is 3 direct 3d 11 you guys can just copy here but color space should be 709 and color range should be full that's pretty much the only important part here so yeah guys, that's pretty much my settings. So yeah guys, I think you guys should really use my settings just because um, I don't obviously have like a high gain, high end gaming PC. And I know a lot of people with OBS settings, they show like the best um, FPS, like lag, no lag, render settings. But like I feel like they have a really high PC so they can't really show if it's lagging or not. But for me personally, I have experienced lag. It's like a problem with me. Like I, I need to upgrade my computer, but since I don't have an upgraded computer and a lot of people don't have it, um, I feel like these settings can really help you guys out if you guys really want to start recording and stuff. So. so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like button down below. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Tap on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams. Comment down below if you guys really like these settings and comment down below if you guys want any suggestions. And just like this, like just like these people who commented about these suggestions, your comment could be another video topic in the future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Follow me on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch are all down below. I also do have a Discord, so it'd be really cool if you guys can join. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video slash live stream. Peace out, guys.